G'day guys, welcome to Rumble's Fish Room. So today, I'm just hanging around the fish room because I've got a pair of fish together that I want to keep a super close eye on. Um, if you're interested to see what that is, I'm going to do a members video about it tomorrow. But today, we're going to try to get the water changes running on the um, two foot tanks. Um, I'm recording on my, uh, what is, what's it called? I don't remember the name of it. I'm recording on my Sony. Is it Sony? Yeah. It's a Sony. It is a ZV-1. <laughs> um, because I dropped my Osimo action and cracked the lens. <laughs> um, so, yeah. I shouldn't be disappointed that I'm going from an Osimo action to a Sony VZ-1. <laughs> This camera is worth like four times as much as that camera. So, um, yeah, like I said, guys, I just I wanted to play with the two different cameras. Uh, I like the stability on the other one a bit more. Um, but that's literally the only positive from the other one, that this one, it has stability, but maybe I just need to learn how to do the settings a bit better. When I edit it, I, I do notice that it's, it's more shaky than I like. Maybe I've just got... Maybe I should just shake less as a person holding the camera. But anyway, let me show you what we're getting stuck into today. Alright guys, so we've got bulkheads for the tank. I've only got 15mm bulkheads. I normally use 25s, but I'm just on a budget today and these are only $3 each. Um, then I've just got a barb fitting coming out of the tank and I'm just going to put a short hose going into the um, stingray tank because um, these tanks are just going to drain into the stingray tank. They're not going to drain into the into the drain drain. Um, so what I'm actually going to do is because they don't need to be this long. I'm actually going to cut these like here and then I'm going to use the off cut as the riser on this elbow and that way I can like turn the riser up and down and we can set our water level for the tank. All right, so I've cut these down. So I've got these three off cuts, I'm saving them. Um, so then I've put my hydro seal on, um, on these uh, rubber washers that are on the bulkheads. Um, now I know people are gonna comment saying I'm putting these bulkheads on backwards. Um, I'm pretty aware of that. Uh, I always make that mistake and it's actually actually to the point now that I put them all backwards. Well actually these ones are the right way around. Um, so these three here, one, one, two, three, four, are the only four in the whole fish room that are the right way around. Maybe, oh, I can't see that one. Oh, those ones are the right way around. Oh, those ones are completely different fittings. Never mind. Um, anyway, so yeah, I'm actually putting these on backwards. It, it doesn't really matter, especially if you put the hydro seal on on the rubber washer. The only thing is, like, the theory is, if this is in the water, the water can actually get through the threads of this um, this thing, this plate. So. Even if it goes through the threads, I put the um, hydro seal on both sides of this rubber, so it, it eliminates that problem. But I, if I did it the other way, I wouldn't have that problem. But anyway, let's go put these in. All right, guys. So I did it off camera. As you can see here, we're balancing over water, and I really need two hands to put it on. So basically, I will explain how I did it. But so I had that side on first. And then on the inside, I screwed this plate on and then I left it loose, not tight. And then I put this elbow on while everything was loose and I could actually spin this side to tighten it. Um, and then once I got that, like them opposite directions, nice and straight, then I tightened the plate. Um, I don't think I'm going to need the riser on this. The height looks pretty good. Um, I'll fill it up and we'll check it out. So now I just got to do that times three. 
All right, so then I just added a piece of garden hose. I had this pretty blue and gray stuff, so I used that. Um, it's just hanging there, but over time it should straighten out. It's only literally got to drip into that pond. Um, we've got a wife here, just chilling. And then the third one's here. This one's back there. Um, so funny thing. Ange comes into the fish room yesterday and she goes, where did those tanks come from? And so she's given me official word that I can't fit any more fish tanks in here. And you guys know last week I did say, I don't think I can fit any more fish tanks in here. We could maybe fit a one up there. Nah, cause that pipes in the way. Imagine if I like relocated all the plumbing just to put a tank there, that'd be pretty funny. Um, if we can't put one there because there's air conditioning and we can't put one there because there's already one there. So there's literally no, nowhere to fit tanks. We could put one on the back of the, on, if we delete this door, we could put three one and a half foots there. <laughs> no, I'm only joking guys. <laughs> See that little tank on the ground there? That would fit there. Nah, I'm not doing it guys. These are the last tanks. If I start putting that tank up there, comment on the video, dislike the video, tell me I'm an idiot. Also, these tanks here have got a number on the bottom of them. This number looks very familiar. I believe these tanks used to belong to a friend of mine, Mike. Um, he's actually Max Cichlid on Facebook. I'm not 100% sure, but I think they might have been his. I might message him and ask him. Um, Sometimes it's cool to know the history of fish tanks. Sounds dumb, but I get a little kick out of it when I get a fish tank and I know that somebody that I know used to own the fish tank and it had been passed around. Are the convicts trying to breed? Oh, the convicts are cleaning the glass. <laughs> oh, imagine if they breed that quick. I, 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 I don't doubt it, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. All right, on to the next step. All right, so we've got the drill out to drill our water and air lines for this tank, but there is a problem. We've got to wait a minute because the water change system is currently running. So if I drill a hole in that pipe, we're going to get covered in water. But luckily that only runs for six minutes. So hurry up pump. You're stopping me from doing my job. All right guys, now we're going to climb the pond. I might just move this out of the way. That can go in the water. Sorry fishies. So I can actually stand on that and not the plastic. Um, so for anybody who doesn't know that, that piece of plastic's there to stop the stingray jumping out. It's just like an edge. So when it slides up the side, it can't slide up too far. All right, and then up here we reveal the pipes we need. Um, I'm going to drill the water pipe for the middle tank over here because over there above the aircon, um, well actually I might, I might just drill it above that tank there where those other ones are. I, I've drilled a couple over the aircon before and they dripped and I've had to like really load them up with Sikaflex so I don't want to drill any more above the aircon but I can drill it next to that one just there where my finger is right there. So over here we just need two holes, one in each. The water change system's only just turned off, so there's probably oh there's no water. Ready this will be air, it'll be like psh, psh. You probably can't hear it but because I've got a directional microphone. Alright, so I didn't bring any um any threaded barbs with me. They're out here. There's two. I've got a fresh bag guys, don't stress. All right, I need the glue. Glue's over here. I think this one might be hard. Oh, we'll see, we'll see. I've got a new one somewhere. You guys said I need a nanny for my shed. It's a good idea. Maybe when I'm making millions on YouTube, I can afford a shed cleaner. 
No, I'm never going to make millions. I just, I'd like the YouTube to support the private. <laughs> I joke about like making millions and stuff, and some people take me too literally. So, I, I, oh, on the waterline, I put glue on the thread, so try stop it leaking. And then you've got to make sure the glue isn't in the hole. Clean that hole out. Um, I joke about making money and stuff, and like someone took me really literally the other day. Kind of had a go at me for being like all about money and not about the fish. If I was all about the money, I would have quit fish keeping a long time ago. Everyone knows there's no, not much money in it. But anyway, rant over. Alright. Uh oh. That's gone. I'm going to put these on off camera because it's a two hand job. Alright, guys, we're all hooked up on that tank air and water. I generally try to keep black for water and um, white and clear for air. But you can see in this situation, I've broken that rule. Um, what do you do? Uh, sometimes you just got to use what's around. And there was a sta stage where I had actually run out of airline, so I was using water line. So this hose here needs to go in there. I might just cable tie it to that, but I'll, I'll keep it low because you don't want the fresh water going straight out the drain. Um, Check out this airline guys, it's like six, seven millimeter thick, but the internal size is still like three to four millimeters. Um, it came on a secondhand sponge filter I got. I'm just gonna use it, cause why not? I need to put a tap on that too. All right, check it out. Air, water, drain. Air, water, drain. Air, water, drain. Behind there somewhere. There. All right, so all three have plumbed up. All three have got a filter in it. Um, so the filters, the, they're not cycled. So I might, I might actually swap them out. Uh, I cleaned that tank up there yesterday. I cleaned the actual tank and the filters. So that, that would be a good candidate for taking a sponge out oh that one's got the jumbo sponge so that one's just gonna have to cycle i reckon there's only like 10 baby flower horns in there and massive water changes like these tanks are going to be getting like probably 40 percent water changes a day nah less than that maybe 30 percent they are going to be getting more simply because um they're smaller if that makes sense like they got the so like these tanks down here are 190 litres and they've got one line going in these tanks here are like 50 litres and they've got one line going in so they're getting like a lot more of a water change but they're also less of volume so I don't know I'm not a fan of small volume tanks but I think with that much water change in it I, I shouldn't have any issues breeding fish in them um I should have convict fry any day now by the looks of it they're definitely cleaning that corner uh, should I put a plate in there for them I don't know, I've got a spare little plate here. They're convicts, I don't think they really give a fuck what they lay on. Sorry, I didn't mean to swear. Um, I've managed to find one tap which I'm going to put on this filter here. I need to buy some more taps. Anyway guys, I'm going to wrap that one there. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I've actually got some light strip. I don't know if I just showed it in the last clip, but there's enough here to do the three tanks. I'm just gonna cut it into three pieces evenly. Um, but it's gonna be a bit of a timely process. Lots of soldering, lots of little bits and bobs that I've got to do to make the lights. So that's gonna be a whole video. Um, so I don't know if that'll be Tuesday's video. Monday's video is about the two fish that are up there right now doing their job. Um, I'll see you guys on Monday for the members and Tuesday for the non-members. Peace out.